So welcome, my friend. This is Archangel Michael. Overjoyed once again to be with you. For you brave souls who have ventured out into the dark of night to be here with us, For this, we honor you. We hope you will enjoy the energies that we have to bring through this evening. I think they will be quite enjoyable to you. Tonight I wish to speak about freedom, a very important subject. And to share some of the liberating energies to assist in detaching you and freeing you up a little bit more and bringing you more into that joyful experience. Like all the other uh, subjects we discuss, all the other topics that are discussed in your classes, freedom is also. We will take a brief pause. So as I was beginning to say, we come through and speak about many uh, subjects, many topics, and those things that we are speaking about are truly experiential in nature. We assist you in your intellectual understanding to a certain extent, mainly to assist you in opening, to receive the energies that we bring through, so that you can mm, take note of the effect that they are having upon you. So I ask you each to relax yourselves this evening. Make yourselves comfortable and enjoy. Breathe with us as we do our best to go beyond. There is a drive within each individual soul for freedom, a drive for a liberation. On every level of your being, you desire to experience this freedom, freedom of expression. freedom from difficulties, freedom from limitations. This drive for freedom of expression is something that is not mm, going to be leaving you as you make your transformation into higher states of consciousness and to your ascension. It is in fact something that is uh, existing as a very strong mm, aspect of your very beings. As the energies uh, of this new awakening, of this transformation, are broadcast uh, to and through the planet Earth and all of its inhabitants, all beings are feeling an activation of the desire in their hearts for this spiritual and personal freedom. So for those who have been unaware of their 
a strong longing and desire for this. They are being awakened to it. And this mm, awakening leads them and inspires them and pushes them a little bit to question old limitations and old patterns and to ask the questions that mm, will lead to that manifestation of spiritual enlightenment and freedom. In your third dimensional experience, your physical and your mm, fourth dimensional experience, your uh, mental and emotional selves, you also have this filtering through from your higher self, this longing for freedom. And it manifests in many ways. You have all attempted in your various ways to experience this sensation of freedom in your lives, of liberation of a release from mm, dense energies that limit you and feel constricting. Many have viewed this as a, mm, a matter of lifestyle. In fact, freedom has mm, not nearly so much to do with your lifestyle as your consciousness. There can be two individuals with identical lifestyles one having an experience or feeling themselves completely bound and restricted and another having the same lifestyle and the same responsibility having an experience of spiritual freedom and liberation. So the first thing that you must mm, open yourselves to if you do desire freedom and liberation is you must open yourselves to release old patterns of belief that tie your experience to the physical and mental and emotional realms. Freedom is not a release from responsibility. There are many beings who have attempted to create a lifestyle for themselves, one in which they had no responsibility to any other person, one in which they were completely at freedom to uh, do what they wanted, when they wanted, go where they wanted, this sort of thing, this type of freedom, the romantic uh, view of this. Perhaps you have wanted to uh, go off on a motorcycle across uh, America, exploring not being tied down. There is an experience of freedom within this, but this is not the freedom that I am speaking of. Those beings who give themselves to a, mm, the search for release from responsibility are in fact bound, are in fact slaves to this desire. What is offered to you as human beings, as light workers, is something that is quite a bit beyond. It is beyond mm, the possibility of doing whatever you want whenever you want, or thinking whatever you want, or saying whatever you want. It is something that is pre-existing. It is something that is already present within you, and it is a very joyful experience indeed, as it is experienced and expressed. So how can one being have a sense of freedom and another being in the same lifestyle have a sense of slavery and restriction. 
it is, mm, for lack of a better word, related to your uh, attachments and, the, and your ability to be free from your attachments to your belief patterns and to your external physical and mental and emotional experiences. It is very easy to say philosophically, mm, detach yourself in a rather uh, mm, a religious uh, context. Simply detach yourself from external mm, stimulation. Yet this is only a very small part of the path towards freedom. Human beings cannot detach themselves. They are with their consciousness, they are their consciousness, and consciousness is always focusing upon something. So what is required of you is to have a connection with spirit, with that part of you which is connected to your higher self, which is your higher self, connected to your being on higher dimensions, to the source of that feeling of spiritual liberation, to the knowingness of yourself as a being that is beyond the physical body that you are presently residing in. You cannot detach yourself into nothingness. You need to attract yourself, be attracted by something higher, something more profound, more liberating. And as you connect with this energy, it becomes very easy for you to flow through your lives. It becomes very easy for you to have this joyful experience of freedom, even while you are fulfilling your responsibilities. You need to know yourselves and identify with yourselves as who you truly are and not as mm, that ego self that your mm, earth programming has led you to believe that you are. It is like mm, piercing through the veils of illusion with a very fine, very powerful ray of light, like a laser beam like a sword of blue flame. Perhaps tonight we can cut away some of this jungle, some of these veils, pierce them, uh, tear them a little bit, allow more light to flow through you. That's better. So what can you do? If you have in your heart this desire for liberation, this desire to experience the joy of freedom, personal freedom, What it is, is it that is required of you? What is your part of the scenario? Focus yourself on spirit. 
identify with your spiritual self, your higher self, without negating in any way your earthly self, open to the part of you that is already existing on higher dimensions, and allow it to bring through that energy into your physical and the mental and emotional self. This clears away the cobwebs. Your meditation and your prayers and your requests for assistance are all important. At this time, each human being is being offered the opportunity for ascension. Only those beings who can focus themselves upon their true intention for liberation and ascension will have the necessary inertia to carry them through to that state of awareness, state of being. It is not so important how long you have been meditating or mm, even so much how proficient you are. This comes with time and practice. But what is important is your intention, your devotion. Your clarity about what it is that you are desiring in your lifetime. And if you have this, and if you are affirming this, and asking for assistance, it is a small matter to assist you into that attainment. If one has a great store of a spiritual knowledge in their heads, and yet does not have that intent, that devotion, it is much more difficult, in fact, it could be impossible. For what we are speaking of is not intellectual, it is not emotional. It affects your emotional and your intellectual bodies, but it is not to be understood or grasped at that level. It is a liberation into the next step, the next phase of life. Freedom from birth and death, freedom and immortality, And this is offered to you. There are those of you who have been aware of this for some time, who are waiting patiently, I hope, for your ascension, for your final ascension leap. I say to you that self-mastery involves your awareness and your detachment and your surrender. In fact, when you try to escape from your responsibilities, they enslave you even more. When you surrender to your responsibilities, you are free of them. As an example, I will mm, give you the life of Sananda, Lord Jesus Christ. Though his awareness of his mission and of his true being grew as he matured, as he received messages and guidance and empowerment from his higher self, it was nonetheless very important for him to fulfill his responsibilities towards his family and he did so before beginning his earth mission, before beginning his teaching work. You could say that it was a lesson in surrender, a lesson in third dimensional embodiment for him, a necessary experience. And it is for you also. 
But what I am speaking of this night is not about waiting for something to happen, but about experiencing that freedom and joy within each moment by surrendering to spirit and to your moments, that which is before you in each moment. That which is before you in each moment is your spiritual path. And if you are requesting and desiring more spiritual presence, liberation, freedom, enlightenment, you will have opportunities to meditate and to serve in other ways. You will have opportunities to experience that pure essence also. Have any of you ever been to summer camp? Mm -hmm. Well, I would say that your earth experiences, your third dimensional uh, earth embodiment, when compared mm, in uh, the uh, larger picture of the overall time frame of your existence, your true soul existence, you could say your earth incarnations would be somewhat equivalent to spending a week or two at summer camp. Though you may think that you have been on earth for a very long time and mm, are ready to go on uh, to the next step, you may feel that it is an interminable wait for you to transcend. In doing so, you will really mm, find a perspective that will be quite uh, astounding to you, I imagine one that will show you truly that it has been perhaps equivalent to a, a week or two at summer camp, all of your earth time, all of your earth schooling. So you know how it is for a child at summer camp. Mm, there are challenges, there are new experiences, there are things to mm, learn. And there is, at times, a feeling of homesickness. Some of you are quite homesick at times. This is understandable. You have had to put up with, mm, let me say, uh, less uh, facilities here in your camping trip. You were used to more conveniences used to a more easy lifestyle, perhaps. You are looking forward to a nice, comfortable bed and a hot shower, perhaps. So try to have that perspective that your time at camp is uh, at an end. You are simply waiting for the bus to come and take you home. So I ask those of you who are desiring that freedom, that spiritual liberation, I ask of you your patience and your surrender. And I ask of you your commitment and your devotion. The wheels are turning on many dimensions to bring about your liberation. For your part, 
I would say, to be happy and joyous. It is going to be more and more available to you, the experience of the freedom that you are seeking, even within your earth lifetimes, your earth bodies, your embodiments. The energies that are coming through now, filtering from your higher selves, from the higher dimension, are going to be allowing you to experience more and jo joy, more freedom, the feelings of this. In fact, you could say you might become uh, like those people that are mm, laughing and uh, who other people might come up to and say, oh, what's so funny? I don't see anything to be so happy about here. And you may say, I don't know, I just feel free and happy. I can't even say why. This is available to you. It is a matter of severing your old attachments to limited beliefs and programming that tell you you can't experience freedom because the freedom ray is on and you are all being blasted with it continuously. And as you identify with that and break your identification with your limited mm, ego personalities and all of its uh, attendant programming, you will be able to have that radical, unreasonable experience of freedom and joy in the midst of a great chaotic uh, earth experience. I encourage you to open yourselves to this and to, in fact, perhaps you could trick yourselves a little bit and do some affirmations and say, I am completely free. What is it that has been troubling you or causing you to feel distress or imperfection? Is it not something that has been programmed into your consciousness? A belief that tells you you need to experience things in a certain way. You need a certain mm, stimulation or a certain mm, scenario surrounding you in order to feel that which you want to feel. What if you were free from that programming and you were just being in that state? I say to you that this is available to you. You may call upon me to assist you with my sword of blue flame to sever your psychic attachments. It is a good time to break these old patterns. It is the beginning of a new year. What is it that you do when you make your New Year's resolutions? What you are trying to do is mm, start fresh, break a pattern that you have had within your consciousness. Perhaps you wish to quit smoking. I resolve that in the new year I am going to not smoke anymore. So what you are doing is attempting to uh, psychically break your attachment to an old pattern to be free of it. So this is a very good time of year. It is the beginning of a new year and a new wondrous year. And for those of you who are open to this freedom and this exhilaration and this bliss that is available, it will be coming through in large doses, large quantities for you. In fact, you may find that Though the external uh, situation of your life has changed little, the way that you feel within yourself, within your consciousness, has changed a great deal. And you can feel more happy, more joy, more peace, more freedom, even though perhaps nothing has changed externally. This is the energy that is coming through and will be coming through in this year. And the more you can release yourself from old patterns and mm, beliefs and your addictions to mm, limited beliefs and experiences, the more you can find the beautiful manifestation of freedom within your hearts and in your consciousness.
for this is where it begins. It does not begin with altering your lifestyle radically and uh, severing yourself from all responsibility, for you will only find some other attachment to give you the same experience of slavery that you have been trying to release yourself from. If you will begin within your hearts, within your consciousness, then you will also find it manifesting externally in your lives in wondrous ways because you are allowing yourselves that experience in your hearts, in your consciousness. You are opening yourself and knowing that you deserve that freedom. And then freedom will manifest in your consciousness and without. It will manifest in your third dimensional life as well. So like everything else on these wonderful um, spiritual paths that you walk, it begins within you. And you have the power within you to create. And if you will believe it, if you will truly believe it, you have the power to create. You are masters of creativity, masters of manifestation. So how does that feel to you? Yeah, good. There is so much love, so much presence. And it warms us to be able to bring through so much with each passing day. The portals of light are more and more open. The dense energies are more and more cleared. And we are able to bring through more of ourselves to enhance your experience of yourself. So have you questions for me this evening, my friends? A question. Um, when it's said to give ourselves a spirit, uh, I don't quite understand uh, what spirit is, what the definition of spirit is. That is an excellent question, my friend. You could say that spirit is everything. And giving yourself to spirit is simply abandoning yourself to life and surrendering to all. Resisting nothing and accepting with an open heart all that comes to you. This is one aspect of giving yourself to spirit. Another is giving yourself to that focus within you in meditation and your channelings and mm, your service activities, those areas that give you a mm, focused experience of spirit. You would say that a spirit in its unmanifest state. So give yourself to spirit in its unmanifest state in meditation and in its manifest state in your lives by surrendering to that which is before you in the moment. It is a matter of <clears throat> being uh, a being with no resistance, with no mm, preferences, no attachments, being willing to flow with whatever is appropriate, with whatever is highest wisdom, and trusting that. Thank you. You are doing it. Archangel Michael, I have a question. What does it take 
to be able to see physically, to be in the presence of one of the Ascended Masters. For instance, I so often throughout the day call on St. Germain, and I would, um, one of my sincerest desires is to um, see him in physical embodiment and, and have a two-way conversation with him. And I'd like to know what what does it take on my part to be able to experience that? Patience. Patience, I think. It will manifest to you. It also requires <clears throat> a little detachment. You find it as a strong desire within yourself, then you come into another phase, perhaps, where you are less attached to that. You would still like it to happen, but mm, you are mm, not so attached to it, then it is more likely to happen. It will happen for you. Uh, you do have a two-way communication with St. Germain. When you call upon him and speak to him, he hears you. And he answers you mm, to whatever degree you are able to uh, receive his answers. This is uh, up to your mm, developing your telepathic uh, and clear audience uh, abilities. At times he will simply surround you with his present presence and his uh, light as a reassurance if uh, you are not capable of receiving his speech, but he is with you. I am wondering what uh, the answer was last time you asked that question. Probably just as good. I don't remember asking it before, but thank you. Yes, I believe you asked it once before. Oh, in regard, in relationship to Sananda. You are surrounded by these beings in your life. And the more you meditate, the more you will refine your capacity to hear their uh, speech, to hear their messages to you. <clears throat> Does refining that ability mean to um, sit and listen in the quiet for longer periods of time? How long do you meditate now? Mm, usually half hour in the morning, half hour in the evening. I would say that is uh, fine, but uh, you would mm, make more progress if you would attempt to stretch yourself a little bit more, stretch yourself to a longer period. Sometimes in the second half hour or in the second hour that is where the action really begins, you see. Mm. It takes a while to still your mind. It is for you to feel what you are capable of, but if you have the time, we have the beer. <laughs> So you desire to be intoxicated with the God presence? <laughs> yes. yes. So you need to uh, give yourself a little bit larger uh, goblet for us to pour that presence into. The more you meditate, generally speaking, the more you will be uh, opening yourself to receive our messages, our verbal messages. Until that time you can feel our presence. Everything unfolds perfectly. It is a matter of patience and commitment on your part. Experiment with it a little bit more. And ask. Don't forget to ask. I would say work upon asking for a clearer communication with uh, St. Germain and with Sananda. And uh, don't worry so much about asking for their uh, physical manifestation. 
you may pray for this uh, no more than two or three times a day. <laughs> I'll put you on a rationing system. <laughs> okay. The rest of the time, just meditate. And they have heard your pleas and your prayers and your sincerity. I think that it is necessary for you to be able to uh, hold more spiritual presence within yourself. But I don't think they would like to come through and, and cause you to explode in love and presence. You need to be able to hold more of that spiritual energy within you before they will perhaps uh, stand before you in their full radiance. By and by this will occur. You will all see the masters and they will see you as you are one happy family, brothers and sisters. I have a question, um, Archangel Michael. Recently we, we received a newsletter from Cortron, a fellow who um, receives messages from Ashtar and other ascended masters, and he said that um, recently there was a blast of energy and light to awaken the starseed who before this time had not awakened. And I was wondering if you could comment on this, and I had the intuitive feeling that this would be perhaps um, more um, men, since in a lot of the spiritual groups it seems like it's predominantly female. So is this a true message that we got from him, and um, what's the significance of it? Mm, you could say that that was a one a very uh, profound aspect of the intensification of the energy that occurred in the late months of this past year. It was not the only reason. Mm, the prime reason is to assist in the transmutation and ascension of planet Earth. But one mm, very strong byproduct of this uh, increased intensity of energy was mm, truly mm, a shaking and awakening of those who have been still sleeping up until that time. There are many of the family of uh, star seeds that are mm, now just entering into this awareness of uh, what is optional uh, for them now, this ascension opportunity. And uh, it is to a great extent the result of this increase in the energy. Now, the energy will increase in waves up until the time and up until the moment where uh, the ascension leap for the planet takes place. But these waves of energy have many, many purposes and many, many results. That is one of them, yes. <laughs> 